Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to go over the brushes that I took on my last business trip that are all in this case right here. So we're gonna go over all the brushes that I take with me whenever I travel. These are like my tried and true, go-to. I need them every time I do my makeup. I do have more brushes in my collection, but those are kind of like a nice to have, not a have to have. Without like these brushes, I wouldn't be able to do a full face. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like travel themed videos, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so we're going to split this up into face brushes and eye brushes. These are all the brushes that I took with me. These are all the eye brushes. These are all the face brushes. This is actually the first time I traveled with this case. Normally I would try to just put them in my travel makeup case which is this right here. It's from Victoria's Secret. It's a little zipper compartment thing. It's a little messy because I've been unpacking it. I will do another video about travel makeup. I just wanted to make this one about the brushes. So this is the first time where I actually separated my brushes out and put them in here. I gotta say, the Jaclyn Hill like favorite Smorphe set was worth it for like the three brushes that are now my holy grails. I'll talk about those a little bit later. And this case like this is a really good brush case i keep this on my vanity normally all of my big face brushes live in here it sits on my vanity and then when i'm ready to do my makeup in the morning i just open it up and then they're all right there for travel it's nice it's actual hard so the brushes don't get all messed up and i just throw all my brushes in there and then the same thing i was at the hotel just opened it up laid it on like the vanity thing and all my brushes were right there and then you can kind of sort through them and see them all there so i really enjoy this case i would highly recommend this especially if um you're used to trying to like shove brushes into your makeup bag or trying to just keep them in a little ziploc like i used to do it's worth it to have the hard case because it keeps the brushes from getting damaged i also brought a beauty blender with me i don't have it in here i immediately like took it out to put with rest of my beauty blender so I could wash them all but I did have just one of those that I brought with me the first powder brushes that I brought were these two this one is from Sigma it's an f10 I love to use this to dust my bake away from my under eye and then I also use it to just set powder in like difficult areas or like detail areas like around my nose or you know under my eye for the rest of my face, I like to use powder with the Too Faced Mr. Right brush. Mine is a little bit like slanted this way because that's like how I like to put my powder on. So if I'm putting powder all over my face, I will go for this guy right here. For bronzing and contouring, these are my three brushes right here. I have the NARS Eda brush. This is like the only like luxury brush I've ever actually liked. Um, after I bronze, so I bronze with this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe R10. I actually really like this. I will swirl it in my bronzer and just go in the three, get up here, get on the cheek, and then do a little bit on the jawline. And then once I'm bronzed, I blend it out with this brush right here. This is a small duo fiber brush from Sigma. I've actually worn off the name, but it's just the small duo fiber brush. And then I blend out the bronzer. And then I go in with contour of this guy, just a little bit of definition right there. And then once again, blend it out with this guy. So these three brushes right here make bronzing and contouring like foolproof. Like I tried to contour with the R10. It's just too thick, especially for my face shape. So I would definitely recommend bronzing with a bigger, this one isn't really fluffy, but you can bronze with a fluffier brush and then contouring with a more defined thinner brush. And then I like just blending everything to filth, so I, I need my dual fiber blending brush. The last two brushes that I have right here are a blush brush. This is from Aesthetica. It's like the P12 brush. Pretty sure I got this in a BoxyCharm, I think. I remember I didn't go out and actually buy this brush. Let's put it that way. It came in some sort of subscription or I got it as a gift, but it's just a nice fluffy powder brush that I use for blush. I like to drape with this, so I'll just use a little bit of blush and go boop 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 like that you can blend it out if you really want to but i don't like to over blend my blush because i don't want it to like get everywhere so i'll just kind of like place it down like that if i really wanted to i could like wash off not wash off but like i could use the color switch on this brush and then blend in my blush too but it's it's not really necessary as long as you don't 
overdo the blush you can just place it down and then you're good my tried and true for highlighting is the anastasia beverly hills a23 highlighting brush i do love this for highlighting but i am seeing like the bristles are fraying a little bit and it's not really that old so i'm not sure how long it's gonna last but it's a really good highlighting brush i really enjoy it for now Moving on to eye brushes for my eyebrows. I have my ABH dual sided brush. I just use this with a dip brow. It's got a spoolie on one side, an angled brush on the other. Essential, great for travel. For, this is technically a concealer brush, but I really use it for setting um, like my paint pot to use as my eye primer. This is a MAC 195, just a big concealer brush. I also use this to mix my foundation if I have to use a lightener, and then I apply my foundation to my face, and then use my beauty blender to blend it out. Next, I have the MAC 242, I think it's what it's called. It's kind of rubbed off. Um, I just use this to set down my paint pot and then I set the paint pot with powder with this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M504. This is actually the brush I get the most questions on from everybody. <laughs> um, it is the perfect big fluffy blending brush. I use it to set whatever I'm priming my eyes with and then I go in with my first color with this big brush. Even throughout my look, if I'm adding a darker color or if I'm going in, I will always go in in between each shade and just kind of blend everything together with this big brush because it just gets everything. I went a little overboard on the rest of my blending brushes. I really only needed like two of these, so these were kind of extraneous. I really didn't use those two. The two that I really did need, um, one is from MAC, one is from Sigma. This is the MAC 217. It's just that like essential blending brush you hear everyone talk about. It's basically the same as this one, the Sigma E25. They're the same size, they're the same shape, they're the same density. The only thing is that the Sigma is a lot better quality and it feels a lot better. The MAC is really scratchy and you can feel it, but sometimes I need like the blending capability of this one because they do blend out slightly differently. And so sometimes I reach for the MAC one knowing what it does. So I like having two of kind of the same brush because if I'm going in with a couple of different colors, I don't really want to do too many colors on one brush. Even if it's one look, I don't want everything to get like too muddy. So I do like having these two with me. And then for my detail brushes, these are all that I brought and I actually didn't even use one of them. And that one was the Morphe M432. It's just a, a flat liner brush. I brought this in case I want wanted to smudge out liner on my um, upper lash line. Didn't really need it. Could have lived without it. These are the three detail brushes that I use practically every day. This is the short shader E20 from Sigma. I use this to add color to my lower lash line. It's actually what I use today to add this MAC green color onto my lower lash line. Love this brush. It's the perfect size, perfect density. You don't get any fallout when you use this for your lower lash line and it just smudges and applies color fantastic i also have this is not even a named morphe this is just a morphe it's it's hard to explain it but it's like a scratchy flat shader brush and it just picks up glitter and shimmers and applies them to the eye beautifully i bought this in like the very very first morphe set that i ever bought and the rest of the brushes were kind of crappy but this one I still hold on to. but I don't have a name or a number for this one because I bought it in a set and the last essential brush that I have is the inner corner shader from Sigma this is the E46 simple it just highlights your inner corner but it does it precisely and it just makes your inner corner really pop if you use a brush that's too big to highlight your inner corner you're not really highlighting just the inner corner you're highlighting like the entire inner part of your eye and it can look a little weird so I do love this for highlighting the inner corner. So those are all the brushes that I love to travel with. Without a few of these brushes, I could do a full face, but it would be really, really difficult. So those are my go-to tried and true brushes. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know down below what your essential brushes are, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.